right, so we're going to do number nine, um, and the directions are just to um, solve using any method. So that could be completing the square, could be the quadratic formula, could be just by taking square roots, um, or it could be by factoring. So those are our options. Um, we can't uh, we can't factor this, and since I just see one x squared here, I don't have any x's. Um, that's the indication for it's probably not going to factor. And in fact, the easiest way to solve it would just be to sort of solve it like like any normal equation, just like an equation like two x plus three equals five. You would just do opposite operations. Um, so we're just going to solve it that way. We're going to take this equation, we're going to do opposite operations, and basically undo everything around the x squared. And the reason we're doing that is because there's only one x to solve for. It just happens to be squared, but there's only one x to solve for. We don't have two different kinds of x's here. So the first step is going to be subtract 72. And then we're going to divide by 9. And now to undo the squared, all we're going to do is we're going to take the square root of both sides. So we get x over here. And remember, when you take the square root of x squared, you get a plus or minus over here. It could be either positive or minus, whatever we get. Now, the square root of negative 8 um, is going to require a little bit of simplifying. There's a negative in there, so I could rewrite the square root of negative 8 as the square root of negative 1 times 8. Right? Well, the square root of negative 1, remember this is the imaginary number i. So we're just gonna we're just gonna call this i and now I still have the square root of 8. Well if you break down 8 um, you get 2 and 2 and 2 um, which we have one pair of 2's which means that a2 comes out um, and you have a 2 that is still left in there. So we have uh, a 2 that comes out with the i and we have a 2 that is left. So this 2 comes out, this 2 is left under here um, and so this is what we get, but remember it goes back here with the plus or minus. So we have 2i root 2. So x equals plus or minus 2i root 2.